Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the old channel. You know, today is Veterans Day. It may not be Veterans Day, though, by the time I get the video out. But the point is, I wanted to honor a veteran. That was like a dad to me. My old man was never around much, but thank God my uncle was. Now, my uncle was in the Navy in the big one, WW2, and he was over in, like, the Philippines. He raised me like a dad, so, I mean, I owe him a debt of gratitude. He's gone now, of course, but one of the things he left me was his old Navy knife. And the cool thing about this is, and it's not in the best of shape, but... He put his name, carved it into the leather across here. On the back, he's got names of, like, people that they saw entertain the troops, I guess, like Betty Grable. And then here, he has carved, like, places they went, like New Guinea, Gama Dodo, Milne Bay, all these different places. Some of you may not know, some probably have heard this before, but... I basically am 50% Hungarian. My mom, and therefore my uncle, because he was on my mom's side, were 100% Hungarian. Their parents had just come over here as immigrants, and they settled in the Del Rey section of Detroit, where a lot of uh, Hungarian and Polish people settled. And it was so different than today. Back then, they lied about their age. They were underage, but lied about their age to get in. It was looked down on if you were like a young man and you were not in the service. And people in the neighborhood would say, you know, why aren't you in the service? You need to be doing your part. So basically, they begged to get in. My uncle tells a story where he went for his physical. And like say, they were... Their parents were 100% Hungarian, but they were not allowed to speak Hungarian in the house. You know, their mom said, we're American, English is our language, we're not speaking Hungarian in the house, yada, yada. So, but their English wasn't real strong. But the funny thing is the, the physician was going to not allow him into the service because he was... He told him, he says, you are obese. And my uncle didn't know what that meant, you know. He said, well, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know what that means. And the doctor said, fat, son, you're fat. And I'll never forget my uncle telling me that story. But he begged the guy, and obviously they let him into the Navy. And that was just a humorous anecdote that he told over and over. And I'll never forget that as long as I live, so... Obese is fat, son, fat. So, you know, this just a shout out for all those that are serving, that have served, you know. It's, a, it's an honor to serve your country in such a way, you know. And we all owe you guys a debt of gratitude for sure. So anyhow, that's just my little Veterans Day quick video. Saying a quick shout out to all those vets out there. Have a great day, and we'll see you.